and handle cleaning and restoration. Well, good evening, Ohio Valley. Snow and clouds for this past week. What will be the trend as we move forward into Thanksgiving? Well, taking a look at our radar over the past three hours, we stayed rather dry with plenty of sunshine for our day on Saturday. However, temperatures not very reflected, rather cold, just one degree above freezing. But I'll tell you what I am keeping an eye on. Up to our west, we're starting to see a frontal system making its way into our region. With that being said, I-70 to I-80 in that middle frame, we'll see kind of the same setup that we saw these past few days. That light snow flurry, little accumulation, less than an inch on that car. However, north of I-80, we're seeing a completely different story. Let's zoom out here where you can check out as that front coming through, we can, we'll continue to see that lake effect snow with that snow or winter weather advisory issued earlier today around two, three o'clock this afternoon. Now that is for Trumbull, Ohio. They're expecting to receive up to six inches of snow. With that being said, and those wind gusts, it's going to be rather hard to see anything out on those roads as we start to accumulate some of that snow. So with that being said, time frame for tonight, we're looking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ish time frame for that frontal passage to bring that snow through. Now, current satellite and radar showing that front lingering down through Ohio that'll likely make its way into our region, like I said, over the night tonight into tomorrow. Now, let's check out National Weather Service put this out this morning. National Weather Service said that Buffalo snowfall, pretty incredible. They broke a record 17.2 inches in a day. Pretty incredible. Previous record was 7.6 inches back in 2014. Six and a half feet for Orchard Park. That is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. I would not be able to do anything if we saw six and a half feet here in Wheeling. Neither would you. High of 33 for today, rather cold. Definitely not breaking that record high, but we're sitting rather close for that record low, waking up tomorrow in temperatures in the lower 20s. We should be sitting around that mid 30 degree range, just not the case. For tomorrow, if you're heading to that Steelers game, that is at Akershire Stadium. Kickoff time, 4.25 p.m. You're definitely going to want to grab those hand warmers and a, glove, a set of gloves because those winds will be 10 to 15 miles per hour. With that cold temperatures, it is going to feel rather cold. Sunday, not another copy and paste from today, but check out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Almost 50 degrees, and then Thanksgiving. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but it is going to be rather warm. Definitely not going to be seeing any snow. Predictors showcasing plenty of clear skies across the board, but then to our west, we'll start to see that front making its way through our region. It's not going to be that bad, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, south of I-70, we're going to stay predominantly dry. In the middle, those flurries. Seven day forecast Sunday, like I said, breezy Mon Sunday and Monday. Definitely want to keep those hand warmers if you're going to the game. Then as we trend through the rest of our week, we're picking up temperatures into the 50s, 54 on Thursday. Now, most of that precipitation that we'll receive with our warm front is going to be later in that night. And then we'll start to see snow mix with some rain as we step into Saturday.